what are the it was given origin to velocity u at t equal to zero then the gravity will act and the wind will retard the motion of the particle because how the wind is blowing the wind is blowing towards left then how the path of the particle will be first it will move like this somewhere when it is moving will analyze the velocity of the particles huh? the velocity of different particles so here it will be at, at different instants will calculate the velocity v1 x v11 v2 x v2 y somewhere at one instant the particle will be moving vertically yeah? because the horizontal component of velocity should become zero because the wind will retard the horizontal component of velocity so somewhere at one point the particle will have only the vertical component <coughs> then again the the wind will continuously will try to impart the the wind will continuously try to impart the acceleration so this will further continue so what do you expect now how the particle will move the particle will start moving and and is asking that condition that let it come and strike the okay and i'll give some other color the particle will come and strike the the foot of the tower this is what some conditions asking now we'll see like what wow. under what conditions the path of the ball will be like this first it will move in a parabolic path yeah then how the other motion of this particle will be here yeah, what we can write u greater than v1x greater than v2x along y axis v1y so let me write v2x less than v1x less than e this will be motion along x axis here along y axis vy greater than v2y greater than vy so what is the type of motion here along y axis <coughs> it will be an accelerated motion along x axis it will be retarding motion still this will be parabolic part somewhere at one point at one instant of time so we'll call this instant of time as t equal to t1 so from from here or we'll write some symbol will take it uh, a let this be at instant of time tab the horizontal component will become zero the horizontal component here will become zero only the it will have the vertical component again the wind will continuously try to blow then the particle will move in again a parabolic path so how the velocities will be here again again it will have v3y v3x v4y v4x and finally it will it will strike it will strike the let me it will strike the <coughs> tower okay let the condition let me put it vx and let this be vy now we are just discussing a generalized case huh? so time taken to move from a to a let it be tbc so again this will also be parabolic path so this will be parabolic path and this will be parabolic path now what is the time taken tab tab what we can write here along x axis the equation will be from a to b will divide this from a to b or the path a to b 
vx or zero equal to ux minus aw into ta. What the time taken will be ta. Then what is vy? Vy equal to uy. Uy will be zero. Ay will be g. This will be ux by u w. What is ux? Ux is in fact equal to u only. And what is aw? Acceleration imparted by the wind. Acceleration due to wind. Okay, fine. Okay, this will be the vy component or vy dash vy. Same, same different symbol, vy dash here, here will we'll make it vy. Okay, this one. Now, from B to C, what will be the conditions like? How it will be moving? Then it is undergone some horizontal displacement, no? Maximum horizontal displacement. Then can we calculate this xm? xm will be how much is equal to 0 square minus u square equal to 2 minus aw into xm. So this is equal to, we have applied equations of motion along x-axis for this part. Then here, here it will be like this. What was the initial velocity u square? Final velocity along x-axis 0 square. Then how the AW is acting opposite initial velocity, so negative sign. And when it moves from A to B, what is the horizontal displacement? Xn. So we got this Xn. There's a maximum horizontal displacement vertical. Then it should come and strike the foot of the tower. So what is the total time we'll take it? We'll calculate this one. Then again, it, it will get imparted. So it will acquire the same velocity here. Sir, how do you can say that it will have Vx dash should be equal to u only? You look at this one again from or path from B to C will apply the equation along x axis 0 square Vx dash square minus 0 square equal to 2aw xx. What is xm equal to u square by 2aw? So what is vx dash finally equal to u? So with the same horizontal speed, it will come and strike. Huh? But here it will be it will be striking somewhere in this direction. So can we calculate what is vy? For that, I, I think we need a time bc. Huh? So how to calculate time bc? Yes, we can apply the formula vx dash equal to 0 plus aw pbc. vx dash is u, aw pbc. What is the time taken to move from, again, b to c, will be same thing. pab should be equal to tbc. Now we can calculate vy dash. Okay, now vy dash. Vy dash equal to Vy plus Ay into Tbc. Vy is how much? We have calculated this. G U by Aw. Ay is G. Tbc is U by Aw. This is equal to 2U G by Aw. Finally, with what speed it will strike? It will strike with the speed up to all these quantities u square 2gu
let me move this a little bit here. Okay, fine. So this is one basic idea. If a ball is projected, first what will happen? It will undergo accelerated motion. Along x, along y axis, accelerated motion, along x axis, retarding motion. Now, what about this path? This path will be accelerated motion both along x and along y. So we will write some the important data. Now, what is the data here? V1 U greater than V1x greater than V2x. Then again here Vx dash greater than V4x greater than V3x. Look at this. With this, you can really conclude and think. So now further we'll write here. By dash greater than b4y greater than b3y greater than b2y greater than b1. Look at this data along x axis. First, <coughs> it will undergo retardation, then acceleration. What about along y axis? Continuously accelerated motion. So, if the wind blows towards right, okay, this is what the condition. If the wind blows horizontally towards left, there's a possibility that the projected ball will come and again strike the foot of the tower. So yes, there's a foot, there's a top. So from where we have projected the ball, from the top of tower. Weight is coming and striking back. Weight is coming and striking it, foot of the tower. So this will happen if the wind blows horizontally towards left. Okay, fine. 